Hello and uh, welcome to this tutorial and this is a new type of tutorial for all my tutorials. Um, in this tutorial I will be teaching you basically how to use a website's C panel or C or control panel. Okay, so first you you want to open up your web browser and then type in your website domain and then do backslash cpanel. It's going to ask you for your username and password, so just supply that as long as you wish to. Um and hit okay. Let it load. Um basically a full cpanel will include like about about eight rows of five so forty icons um mine has forty but some may not have forty because i have a web host manager which i will be teaching you how to use in a later tutorial okay so first off we're just gonna we're gonna do the first row which is mail webmail change password park domains and add-on domains so first just hit mail okay and now you're gonna be supplied with you're gonna be supplied with um let's see twelve entries twelve other things you can click webmail I'll open a new tab will let you select which webmail you wish to use while by accessing your your mail so Horde is just another one of them. I log in, and it should just give you everything there. Your mail, organizing, yada yada yada. Now, email domain forwarding is different. You could add a one, and like you could change it. Like, let's just go to this one. The domain forwarder could be like. I don't know. Whatever you want. Dot com. You know, if you could just supply a new thing. You know. So if I went to that right here, it should direct me to whatever you want. Dot com. I doubt it's gonna happen though. Well, it's okay. All emails sent to program.neomail.com will be directed to an email at whatever you want dot com. You understand what I'm saying now? And then this is probably the biggest feature in this, the add, remove, and manage accounts. You could easily add an account by hitting the add account button. Select the domain you wish to use. For now we'll just use neoblob.com and type in the email you wish. So we'll do webmaster and then type in a password, we'll just call it password for now and then quota if you put zero it's going to be unlimited but if you, you could um, easily supply the max amount of space they could have in their email so just, just hit create, it should propagate pretty quickly like that the email account webmaster at neoblob.com with the login webmaster plus neoblob and password password with a quota of 150 megabytes was successfully created now I want you to go back and we're going to add this domain so you can easily use it in Outlook Express or Outlook. So what you want to do, you want to find where that was, webmaster at neoblob.com. Go all the way over here and hit configure Outlook. And select one of these. So we're just going to use Outlook Express. Um, you can either choose POP3 or IMAP. I'm just going to use POP3. Just hit OK gonna keep hit OK a couple times and just hit save file. It's gonna go to your desktop and um it'll be it's gonna show up like that. That's your file right there. So you just double click it and hit yes if you want. Okay and that's gonna say this stuff has been added. Go to Outlook Express. It's gonna ask you to supply a password when you check for the mail. So once it connects, it's going to ask you. So we type in the password, pass. We type in the word password as our password. And just hit OK. See that? Stuff like that. Okay? 
And then, um, once you've done that, we could go back to this and right click default address. I mean, you could easily set this like all unrooted mail will be sent to just you could easily change that. Unrooted mail to hypertext.net will be sent to admin at neoblog.com. Just whatever. And that will send the unrooted emails that have domain name dot extension of website or um to that email you specif specify. Okay? Now auto respond responder maintenance. Okay? Um when you configure an auto response so um first is what you want to do you want to type in your email so like we'll do webmaster at neoblob.com and from we'll just put this because it's telling you from the sender's message will be sent to the autoresponder and subject you could put whatever subject you want character settings we'll keep it like that Each shell message will just link Hello world. Okay. And hit create and modify. And then an auto responder was created. So what we can do, we can open up Outlook Express. Okay, create mail from choose your email from the list. Choose that one. And subject will do hello and hello. We're gonna send it to webmaster at neoblop.com. Hit send, wait for that to be finished. Once it sends, it shall be done. Okay, and now I go check my mail, the mail I actually got, and the one here. See? Perfect. And then go back to <coughs> go back to here and do email filtering. You could add a filter if you want, but subject that contains or subject that contains hello whatever but we're not going to set up those and then you can easily just play with any of those okay now go back here hit webmail webmail is just going to bring you to what we saw before here hit webmail change password just specify your old password there and then enter your new password there and just hit change your password now okay and you go to park domains what a park domain is a domain that will allow you to point or park additional domains to your existing hosting account if you like had a, a website and they weren't added on yours you could just park it for later use and then add-on domains see my current add-ons are hypertext.net you just type it in yeah yeah do like whatever hello.com username hello password whatever you want and just hit add domain that should work there okay well that's the beginning tutorial for now for the first row of cPanel. Seven more of these will be released, configuring all the seven last rows. So I hope you enjoy this and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.